For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do these three problems where we have this frame and it's being hoisted into an upright position so that means that and it's being done by a vertical force so it means that the force is going straight up so the Cartesian vector form of the force instead of the bat we know that it's 0 on the i plus 0 on the j plus 80 in the k find the moment about the y prime axis then they want you to find the moment about the x-axis and then they want you to find the moment about the y-axis <clears throat> so I want you to find three moments so basically the first thing we need to find is the y-axis we need to find a univector in the y-axis direction that will be univector AB so for that we need points A and B you know that A sits at the origin plus 0J plus 0K and you know that B sits at 6 sine of 30 in the I plus 6 cosine of 30 in the J plus 0 in the K which comes out to be 3 in the i plus 5.2 in the j plus 0 on the k that is b so a b is obviously b minus a but a is the origin so it's equal to b so it's 3 in the i plus 5.2 in the j plus 0 in the k so now to find the univector a v we need to divide AB by its magnitude and for that we need to find its magnitude first the magnitude is found by doing the X component square plus the Y component square plus the C component square once you plug in these three values into this formula you're gonna get that the magnitude is equal to exactly 6 so dividing these three values by 6 is gonna get you the univector AV which comes out to be 0.5 I plus 0.8 6, 7J plus 0 in the K. Now that you have that, you know that the moment along Y prime, which is the moment along AB, is equal to the univector AB times, let's call this point right here, point D. So you need this vector, it will be D from D to C cross F. So you need to find DC. Now DC if you were to look at this whole assembly from the top it would look something like this you will have the X you will have the Y remember you're looking at it from the top from the C-axis the C-axis will be right here pointing towards us this will be A this will be D and this will be C and this will be a 90 degree angle so as you can see this vector right here DC is going up and you have that it has a length of 6 but the whole length of 6 if you're looking at it from straight up in other words what we're looking at is this vector right here and then we need this component right here of C so this vector right here let me make an arrow is given by 6 cosine of 15 degrees because it's given right here and it's 5.2 I'm sorry 5.8 5.8 this thing has a length 
of 5.8 and you know that the angle that it forms with the x-axis to be 30 degrees because this is 30 degrees as well so this one's 30 degrees so that allows you to calculate the x and the y component you got 5.8 for the hypotenuse of this right triangle and you got the 30 degree angle which means that dc in the x is equal to negative 5.8 cosine of 30 and dc in the y is equal to 5.8 sine of 30 and it's positive because it's going towards the positive y and the c component is this one right here dc in the c which is going straight up and it's given by 6 sine of 15 degrees and it comes out to be 1.6 this comes out to be negative 5 and this comes out to be 2.9 so dc comes out to be negative 5 in the i plus 2.9 in the j plus 1.6 in the k so this is dc so I have some more space I just took it out to the other layer this is how we found DC so we have UAB we have DC and we got the Cartesian vector form of F so all we have to do now is build our matrix and solve our cross product so on the first row we got UAB which is 0 0.5 0 0.867 and 0 on the second row we got DC which is negative 5 2.9 and 1.6 and here we got our force which is 0, 0 and positive 80. You rewrite your first and second column 0 0.5, 0 0.867, negative 5, 2.9, 0, 0. You do your positive diagonals and then we're going to do our negative diagonals. So our positive diagonals are 0 0.5 times 2.9 times 80. I believe is 116 the second one 0 the third one 0 negative diagonals first one 0 second one 0 this is negative 80 times negative 5 times 0 0.867 and it comes out to be positive 346.8 which means that this moment comes out to be 462.8 we got the force given in pounds and the distance is given in feet so is foot pounds so this is the answer for the first part all right guys now we're gonna do the second part of the problem where they want you to find the moment about the x-axis now to find the moment about the x-axis you know that it's given by a univector in the x times this vector AC cross F. That's how we're going to find the moment about the x axis. So, what you do is to find, okay, the univector in the x is given by 1 in the i plus 0 in the j plus 0 in the k, is enough. AC, to find AC, this is what you're going to do. Looking at it from the top like we were doing before, we know that this will be the x, this will be the y, and we got this right here. I was calling it point D. And then you got this vector right here, which is point C. Now D is given by 3 sine of 30 
plus 3 cosine of 30 plus 0 so i j k and this is the vector dc that we had before so vector d comes out to be 1.5 in the i plus 2.6 in the j plus 0 in the k now you know that vector dc which is the vector we found before would be given by c minus d so if you wanted to find vector c you do dc plus d d is the one we just found so you got to add this vector into the vector uh, dc that we found before in order to find vector c and you're going to get that c is equal to minus 3.5 in the i plus 5.5 in the j plus 1.6 in the k now that we have the second vector and we have the force already so we can do this build our matrix so the uni vector will be 1 0 0 on the second one we go AC which is negative 3.5 5.5 and 1.6 and on the last one 0 0 80 so you redraw your first and second column negative 3.5 5.5 0 and 0 we do our positive diagonals positive 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 and 1 times 5.5 times 8 is 440 this one's 0 this one's 0 negative diagonals negative 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 this one's 0 this one's 0 and this one has a 0 up here so they're all 0 so our final answer is 440 again pounds per foot now to do the last one which is the moment about the y let me scroll down a little bit so I have more space the moment about the y would be given by the uni vector in the y times again ac cross f So you build your matrix, the uni vector in the y is 0, 1, 0. AC, which has found is negative 3.5, 5.5, and 1.6. And the force is 0, 0, and 80. We draw first and second column, negative 3.5, 5.5, 0, and 0. Positive diagonals. Are all zero negative diagonals this one's zero this one's zero and this one is negative 80 times negative 3.5 times 1 comes out to be positive 280 pounds per foot so final answer for the last one and final answer for the second one Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.